Hi, I'm Anders from Embedded Artists. This is our IMX RT1052 OEM board. Besides the iDotMX RT1052 itself, which is a 600 MHz Cortex M7 microcontroller, our OEM board has, amongst other things, a 4 MB Octal SBI flash. In this video, I'm going to talk more in detail about this component. The iDotMX RT1052 doesn't have any on chip flash. Why not, you may ask? After all, that is the trademark of the current microcontrollers to have integrated flash memory from where the application executes. Without going into too much technical details, a flash memory cell doesn't scale well with the smaller process geometries needed for the core logic in next generation processors that are close to gigahertz speed. Throwing out the flash was a prerequisite to get the iDotMX RT1052 to execute at 600 MHz. The application must be stored in an external flash memory. This gives two different system solutions. One is to have a lot of on-chip high-speed SRAM from where the application executes. This is often called tightly coupled memory or TCM for short, since it can be accessed with very low latency at the processor core frequency. High-speed SRAM can be integrated on-chip in the same process as the processor core logic. It is expensive in silicon area, but with smaller process geometries, the cost is not that bad even for a large SRAM block. The other solution is to execute the application from an external flash and to have a high-speed interface between the processor and external flash. The iDotMX RT supports both solutions, independently or in a combination. The iDotMX RT1052 has half a megabyte of high-speed SRAM slash TCM. This is more than enough for most applications. It is also enough to hold a complete display frame buffer. The application can be copied from external flash to SRAM at boot time or selected parts if it is a big application. The iDotMX RT also supports external flash with high-performance QSBI interfaces. Two of these interfaces can operate in parallel forming an octal SBI interface, in other words, to get an 8-bit double data rate interface with very good performance. We have teamed up with Adesto Technologies and used their new Echo XIP memory on our IMX RT1052 OEM board. It is a 4 MB octal SBI with exceptionally low power consumption. The Echo part in Echo XIP stands for low power and the XIP stands for executing place in other words, directly from the flash. We use 1.8 volt logic between the iDotMX RT and the Echo XIP to get very low power consumption. Read current for the Echo XIP is typically as low as 20 mA, 30 mA maximum. This is much lower than any other Octal SBI device on the market. There are several low power modes, also with very good numbers. Preliminary performance tests also show very good numbers. Core mark score is around 3000 when executing from internal SRAM. When executing from the Echo XRP, the score is about 1000, so three times slower, but that's still a very good number. To get something to relate to, a 120 MHz LPC 1788 has a core mark score of about 225. A 204 MHz LPC 3350 has a core mark score of about 600. One more thing, using an external flash raises the question of security. No worries, the iDotMX RT supports on-the-fly encryption on the Octal SBI interface without performance loss. Your application is as protected as on a microcontroller with on-chip flash. Our IMX RT1052 OEM board allows you to get unprecedented microcontroller performance and low power consumption at the same time in your next project. It can be used for upgrading your existing microcontroller design without having to move to the Linux world. If you have any questions and want to discuss your next project, please don't hesitate to call us. Thank you for watching.